This next feature I want to talk about uh, in the Design Environment VBook is the Note feature. Now the Note feature has been around for a long time in uh, LAN Desktop. It's kind of been hidden throughout the years and it's even hidden a little bit more in Civil 3D 2010. Unfortunately, I think, you know, because of lack of use, it's probably not one that a lot of people use or even know that it exists. I'm going to show you how um, we can use it or how I've used it in the, in the past on projects and, and you can really use it for a lot of different things. Think of it as keeping a paper trail of your, your work and what you did. Now nobody really knows there's a note there unless you establish this process and procedure. So one of the examples is when I was uh, you know, computing or you know, when I'm establishing property boundaries and computing property boundaries, there's a lot of information that you have to kind of keep track of. You know, a lot of people write it down in notes or on sticky pads and stuff, but that really doesn't tie it to the, um, to the data. So one method is what, what I used was the ability to come in here and select an object and add information to it. Now, what I did with this note feature, the actual command is um, underscore notes, okay, and it's going to bring up this note dialog box. Now, in this note dialog box, you can enter in all kinds of information. So I might put in here that this is the Smith, you know, property. Uh, its deed is uh, 123. Uh, so there's a deed book is 123. Page is you know 345. It's um, you know maybe got um, I held when I was doing this. I held the conch mon at the you know northeast corner. Whatever, I'm basically putting in information about that particular piece of property. Could be anything. It could be a, a storm pipe, maybe that needs rehab that, you know, you, you put a note on there, kind of like a flag that said, hey, you know, this is 12-inch uh, concrete, it's deteriorating, I can see the rebar, you know, whatever. It's just whatever you want to, however you want to use it, but you can put that information in. You can also go to the Reference Docs tab. On the Reference Docs tab, what I can do is I can come down here and I can select add and I can add any document I'm gonna add a sample deed description so this is what we used to do is we would put in not only information on the notes but also uh, a sample deed description uh, so that you didn't have to kind of fish through the file to find this deed book and page and then when you're done you just click OK so now what we've done is we've assigned information to that particular object. So I had it selected when I hit notes. If I hit uh, underscore notes again, it's going to ask me to select an object. I'm going to pick this polyline and then right click and you see it brings back that note tab. This information does not get carried with the drawing kind of like, like an extra F or an image. Um, that path has to be either reestablished or edited um, and that information has to be sent with the drawing. This was more for internal uh, record keeping, tracking of information, tracking of the process and procedure. So we can always go back and figure out, you know, how did we establish this property boundary? You know, how, how was it set up and, um, you know, what it was, or, you know, how was it developed? So that makes it so that the surveyor who's reviewing my information is going to essentially put his stamp on the set of plans. He doesn't have to come bother me asking me information about how I did it. He can just look through my notes read the information and determine whether I made the right calls or not. So again, it's a way to keep a paper trail of your design. So when he wants to see this note or this deed page, all he's got to do is double click on it and it opens up the appropriate tool or application that's going to launch that particular legal description. So you can see here's a sample legal description for this particular piece of property. So you can do the same things. You can add images, you can add movies, you can add um, any kind of information that you want. What it, another tool or another way we use this is we did a project where the, um, it was a utility project and we went out and we surveyed in all the current subsurface utility information. We then had a camera that went down and snaked all the pipes. Well, the engineer who was working on this particular project needed an easy way to be able to pick maybe from a drawing that particular pipe and then have it pull up the video associated with that particular pipe. If you think about it now and you really think about this, it's kind of a GIS is what you're creating. But why would we spend all the time and effort to make this GIS just to make it easier for this uh, individual to have access to that, um, that video? So we didn't need to really create a GIS. We can do it directly with CAD. 
because she wanted to be able to work in CAD and get that information. So all we did was simply draw in the pipes, select that pipe, attach the video um, as notes. So I'm just going to go up and, and uh, bring the notes up. Attach the video here, and then she was able to just pick the pipe, go in here, and pick the part, or pick the video, watch the video, and then back out of it and determine whether or not that pipe needed to be rehabbed. Because then all she had to do was go back over to notes and put in information about the notes. She could say, replace this particular pipe, do this, change this, do whatever. So it's a way, you know, you could use it for redlining or create a really simple GIS. But it just, it made the process so much cleaner, so much smoother, and a whole lot easier to track. Now, I mentioned that, you know, the notes, it is under notes. I want a little bit easier way to get to that information. You'll notice what I did when I right click, I select an object and right click, is I've actually added the note command to my shortcut menu. I can also do it as if I just right click, you'll see I added that note feature at the bottom. Because I like this command, I use it a lot, I want to kind of have access to it. It is not part of a ribbon, um, so it's actually still a command in the software, we just need to have access to it. So to have access to it, what I did was I went to um, manage, and I modified my CUI. So I'm going to go into user interface here, and I'm going to modify the CUI for this option. If you look here on the left, and I come down and I look for my um, shortcut menus. Okay, so here's the shortcut menus. And I have the context menu for default mode, for edit mode, and for command mode. So what I did was I expanded that. And if you scroll down here, you'll see I have notes. I went down below and I found the notes. All right, so I've got notes here. And all I did was left click and drag and drop this guy up into this window and then placed it where I wanted it. All right? So what I was able to do is just move it up, place it where I want it. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you here. So I come up here and you see I place it where I want and I did that for all of the other um, menus as well. So I put it in here and I put it also in the command one. This way it's available whether I'm in a command or not in a command. And then when I was done, I just selected OK, and now you'll see that when I right click, I get that option notes uh, so that I can use and have easy access to it. But again, the note feature, very powerful tool, um, and we get used to it, start using it. Hopefully, it will, it'll stay in the program for the life of Civ, uh, AutoCAD or Civil 3D, but it's, it's been around a long time, and not a lot of people use it. Um, I like to show it. I think it's a handy tool.